Greetings and salutations, I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood, and we're talking Lightroom 3. Today's lesson is brought to you by MediaCats, your leading resource for instructor-led training. We're going to take a look at some quick updates they've made in Lightroom specifically to the Crop Tool. Let's go ahead and jump in. This is a quick tip, I just want to bring up the Crop Tool, and one of the first things you'll notice that they fixed is now they've consolidated all of the different aspect ratios together so there can be no confusion as to how you're going to crop the image. I've been getting lots of questions about this checkbox called Constrain to Warp. Notice that when I check the box, seemingly it doesn't appear to do anything. This is because the new Constrain to Warp check is actually tied to the new lens correction panel. So let's take a closer look and you'll see as I check and uncheck Constrain to Warp, it actually ties to the lens correction panel and there's a coinciding checkbox constrain the crop. So I'm going to uncheck this and I'm actually going to do just some distortion in the image. This of course is not fixing it but you can see clearly the crop area is beyond the boundaries of the image. But if I check the option to constrain the warp or to constrain the crop, this actually scales down the crop image to the usable image area. Right? So that's what constrain to crop does. The last tip that I have for you is how to quickly change between a landscape and a portrait orientation for your crop. In previous versions of Lightroom this wasn't difficult but it was rather tedious. Now you can simply press the X key. So pressing the X key will quickly change between a landscape and a portrait orientation for cropping your image. So I'm AJ Wood. This is one of the new features inside of Lightroom 3, one of the improvements. Appreciate you hanging out. Have a great day.